Reverse osmosis, or RO, systems work by filtering water through a semi-permeable membrane to remove contaminants. The process involves applying pressure to water, forcing it through the membrane, which allows only water molecules to pass through while blocking larger particles such as dissolved salts, chemicals, bacteria, and other impurities. The filtered water is stored in a tank like this one or passed directly to a faucet like this one, depending on the system design. Here's how the system works step by step. The first step is pre-filtration. First, it goes through a sediment filter, which removes large particles like rust, dirt, and sand. This protects the RO membrane from clogged. The next step is carbon filtration. The water passes through an activated carbon filter, which removes chlorine, chemicals, and other organic compounds that can affect taste and odor. In our system here, the Hume Water Saver 75, we then send it through another carbon filter before getting to the reverse osmosis membrane. The water is pushed through the RO membrane, which filters out dissolved solids like fluoride, lead, nitrates, and more leaving only purified water on the other side. There's also some post-filtration. In some systems, the water passes through another carbon filter to remove any remaining impurities or odors before reaching the faucet. As mentioned before, depending on the system, the purified water is stored in a tank, like this one, or delivered directly to the faucet. We tend to recommend a system that has a tank, again, like the system you're seeing here, just because it improves water flow, since these systems tend not to be able to process water super quickly. Any wastewater generated during the filtration process is sent down the drain. Here I have the Hume Water Saver 75. This is a typical RO type setup, but it's one that we prefer. It has two, a sediment filter, it has a carbon filter, it has another carbon filter before going through the membrane. Once it goes through the membrane, then the water gets stored in this tank. As you use the faucet, which you'll have an independent faucet at your sink, it pulls the water from this tank through the last carbon filter just to ensure that you have all purified water coming out the top. Basic RO systems have three to five stages of water filtration. In this example here, our Hume Water Saver 75 has five stages of filtration. Some more advanced systems have up to seven stages, but we don't think that's absolutely necessary for most home water filtration setups. Extra stages often include remineralization, which adds beneficial minerals back into the water, or additional filters to remove specific contaminants like VOCs. Reversal osmosis systems do work on pressured water, so if you have low pressure in your home system, you might need a booster pump to help push the water. Additionally, some homes require booster pumps if the water is traveling a long distance from the RO system to the tap or the refrigerator. Some systems come with a booster pump to increase water pressure. This is useful in areas with low water pressure, ensuring more efficient water filtration and faster water flow. RO systems can produce wastewater during filtration, typically wasting three to four gallons for every gallon of filtered water. More advanced systems are designed to reduce this ratio, sometimes as low as one to one, making it more water efficient. Like our Water Saver 75 here does have a one to one ratio of filtered water to wastewater. Systems with larger storage tanks can hold more purified water at a time, which is useful for bigger households. This is a typical tank, which is four gallons, but you can get any size tank that you want. Some systems are tankless, filtering water on demand instead of storing it. We don't recommend these units because it takes a long time for the water to go through the filtration process and you tend to be able to use the water faster than it can process. Some RO systems feature an additional stage that reintroduces healthy minerals like calcium and magnesium after filtration, improving the taste and providing health benefits. Remineralization filters can be added to systems like this. The lifespan of filters varies between systems. Higher end systems might have longer lasting filters, while more basic systems may require more frequent replacements, which could affect the ongoing maintenance costs. We generally recommend changing the filters in the Hume Water Saver 75 system every 12 to 18 months. Now that's just for the filters. For the membrane, we tend to recommend changing it every four to seven years. Each RO system offers different features tailored to specific needs from basic filtration to advanced setups that enhance water quality further by adjusting taste, adding minerals, or boosting efficiency.